Remembrance Day is also about Canada. They were farmers and factory workers, day laborers and the sons of rich merchants, storekeepers and school teachers, cowboys and medical doctors. They were as young as 13 and as old as 77. Most of them were paid $1.10 a day, which was significantly less than the normal pay of a day laborer and well below the amount required to provide for a family back home. They enlisted for love of an empire and to fight the war to end all wars. They suffered tremendous sacrifices and deprivation. They went in as British subjects and proud representatives of their provinces and their regiments. But four years later, the survivors came out the other end as Canadians. And Canada came out of the Great War as a nation. That change in identity happened principally at the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Some 150,000 French and British had already died trying to capture the strategic ridge, viewed by many Allied commanders to be impregnable. The battle marked the first time that all four divisions of the Canadian Corps fought side by side under Canadian leadership. At exactly 0530 on April 9, 1917, the storming of Vimy Ridge began, with every artillery piece at the disposal of the Canadian Corps firing at once. Thirty seconds later, charges were detonated under no man's land. And for the next several hours, light field guns laid down barrages that advanced in set increments, while medium and heavy howitzers established a series of standing barrages further ahead. Over 1900 Canadians died on the first day of battle. By the fourth day, April 12th, Canadians controlled the entire ridge, but at a cost of almost 3,600 lives. 7,000 more were wounded in what was hailed as the first big Allied success of the Long War. The Canadian Corps were successful in capturing the ridge because of tactical innovations, technical precision, meticulous planning, powerful artillery support and extensive training, and bravery. Four Canadians received Victoria Crosses at Vimy Ridge for their gallantry and heroism. The innovations and daring of the Canadian Corps, their collaboration and resolve, and their ultimate success at what was considered impossible became our national symbol of achievement and sacrifice. 250 acres of the battleground are preserved as the Canadian National Vimy Memorial. The ground we fought for and won that day has become hallowed ground for Canada. After the war, many of our dead were moved to the National Vimy Memorial. Over 11,000 Canadians are buried at and around Vimy. And in many, many ways, Vimy is the place where they first fought together as Canadians, died as Canadians, and are remembered as Canadians. In many ways, they created Canada, and we must never forget. Yeah.